video. Okay. All right. Okay, no so. commentary, though. Let him do his thing. Sorry. You're welcome to commentary. <laughs> Are we already shooting? Yeah. All right. So we've already bent this up a little bit, but I'm going to show you the three bends that we did on the uh, Sacro Waves. And this is the flat seat version. Um, a good note to add is actually the flat seat version, you're generally going to have more success with fitting people in. The wedge version is going to limit the vehicles that you can use it in. It sits people up a little bit too high in a lot of cars. So always kind of start with the flat unless you know that you've got the headroom to begin with. Um, so the bends that we're doing <coughs> in here is we're going to add a lumbar bend here. Now traditionally what we would have the person do is sit in the chair and then I would measure with my fingertips. I'd ask them first, can I just briefly touch your back to measure and get just a rough fingertip reading of where the apex of the lumbar spine is at. Which generally it's opposite the navel, but you can get a gauge of it and see how tall someone's hips are and where that's going to line up. And then you'd pick up the device with it face um, actually the opposite way. And that's where you would go in sideways here in between the two bars and begin to make the lumbar bend. I usually fold the seat down and start to push back here to add that lumbar bend. Just moving it up in about quarter inch increments to match to the curve that I'm trying to, to get for the individual. Placing it back in the chair, you're going to sink it back as far as you can and try to match that lumbar profile along with the contour of the lateral supports or bolsters in the chair itself. You can add an extra curve down here and you'll usually only want to have that in about an inch or two because of the way the frame is designed. You don't just want to be trying to bend the foam itself. And by adding that little bit of a bend there, we're going to be able to reduce pressure on the back of the leg. It's going to allow the sacroes itself to really suck to the chair and uh, it's just more comfortable overall. The last bend, if needed, that we can add is up here at the top. Sometimes we'll just manipulate the seat itself to bring it more upright to increase pressure around the lumbar or thoracic spine. But we can also tip this forward by bringing it face down and adding a little bit of bend to the top. You can create a gentle platform for the shoulder blades, again, just above the lumbar spine, depending on how upright they want to be or the contours of their back. That's a default Mac address. Wireless land status. Nice. There you go.